Hello everybody, welcome to another fairy tale program. You should have all picked up your bags from the library, and this week's story is the Frog Princess. Prince, it's Frog Prince. Now I am a frog princess today with my lovely crown, which might have something to do with your craft that you found in your bag. Now there are plenty of books that are just the Frog Prince, and you can pick these up at the library or reserve your own copy. But this summer, you should be learning about lots of different fairy tales. So you can also get books like this called A First Book of Fairy Tales. And maybe some of the fairy tales that we didn't go over this summer, you'll find in this book and you'll enjoy as well. Now I'm gonna read from this book about the Frog Prince. But again, I'm not gonna read all of the story. I'm gonna read half the story because I want you to finish it and I want you to tell me if you like the story, okay? So, this is called The Frog Prince. There was a pretty little princess who lived in a castle near a dark forest. On a hot day, she liked nothing better than to play with her golden ball under the shade of trees. Well, that's something I like to do. One day, she dropped the ball into a deep well. The princess wept bitterly at the loss of her ball. Suddenly, an ugly, old frog appeared. What is ever is the matter, he asked. I've lost my golden ball, she cried. What will you give me if I fetch it for you, asked the frog. My jewels and my crown, said the princess. All of that for a golden ball? No good to me, said the frog, but if you would promise to love me and let me eat from your plate and sleep in your bed, then I will fetch it. The princess promised without thinking, so the frog dived into the well and brought back her golden ball. But as soon as she got a hold of that ball, the princess ran towards home and the frog yelled after her, wait for me. The princess forgot all about her promise, but the next day, when she was having dinner with her father, there was a knock at the door, and in hopped the frog. The king made the princess tell him the whole story. Of course you must keep your promise, he said sternly. Lift the frog onto the table, so the princess had to share her dinner with a frog, but it took her appetite away. When it was time for bed, the king made his daughter carry the frog upstairs to her bedroom. What do you think's gonna happen now? He, he's gonna make her sleep in a bed with a frog, a slimy, green, wet frog. I don't think that would be so bad. bad. I think frogs are kind of cool. But you're gonna have to reserve a copy and get a copy of the Frog Prince so you can find out what happens to the princess. And if the story is called Frog Prince, I wonder what the frog turns into. Now I am going to hop over this way and Miss Kristen is gonna show you how to make your own lovely crown. Okay, fairy tale challenge, craft time. I'm gonna do a crown today. In your bag you'll find a crown. It may be yellow or it may be blue. Who doesn't love a crown? Everybody needs to be royalty for one day. So just one? Just one. So we'll do this one today. We're going to put some stuff on it that we get in our bag. What's your favorite color? I like purple. Blue. Blue. Blue and purple. Put some stickers on there. star stickers around here and some shiny jewels to put on your crown and then you could put some glue on there that's shiny you could put little sequins on this one and then you will have two little strips like this that you will tape or staple on the ends. That's okay, I have one here so I can show you. You'll put them on the ends and then you'll fit it to your head. So it'll go like this. And it'll 
put it right on there. I made one there just for me. So that one is it for the frog prints. And there you go. Hi everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library at our downtown Lancaster branch. And I'm here to talk to you today about your frog prints grab and go bag. So in addition to the cool crown craft that you have in here, you also have the ingredients to make a frog rocket. So what you have in your bag are, you have a little froggy and you can decorate that froggy however you like. You have a bent straw that's been taped down and you have a straight bendy straw. So this is super easy to put together. Decorate your frog however you like, like this one. And then you're going to tape the bent straw to the back um, with the open end pointing down. And then you stick your bendy straw inside this short part of the straw and that's it. That is your, your froggy lawn shirt. Now, if you're interested in extending this activity, you know, taking it another step farther, you could try making frogs out of different kinds of paper. Do you have wrapping paper around the house? Do you have cardboard? Do you have cardstock? Um, pull this part off of your original frog and see what other kinds of things you can launch. What things go farther? What things go higher? Do they make cool patterns when they fly? Whatever you like. And as always, we would love to see your completed projects when you're all done. Have a great day, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.